Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, I will be reviewing The Roundhouse. This, I'm pretty sure is 2001, 2001 to 2010 version. Um, so without further ado, let's start. I really like this um, set. It's not really a set, it's just a pack. It just comes with this. It just comes with the sheds. It comes with three engines, and we'll go over those engines later. Um, it's a very strange choice of engines. So, we got this five-way switch here, which is a very neat track. I don't usually use it. When I build my tracks, I don't usually like to use this. Because you only get one option to go somewhere. You know, you gotta use switches if you want to go somewhere. But if you, like, use all these individually with an accessory that we'll go over later, then it, you get more options. So I like to use this as a shunting yard. You come in here probably through a switch. These tracks all go out to different places. Probably one of them has switches on switches and switches to get more uh, shunting in the yard, you know? So I just really like... I like this piece a lot, but I don't think it really suits this a lot because, you know, usually the sheds would have a turntable, right? Well, that's where this accessory comes in. The turntable accessory... This accessory comes with two walls, which just go right on here. Uh, it also comes with the turntable, which is its own separate piece with little gears on it. And this thing has gears on it, the little twister. So this goes in here. You can turn around in this plastic piece right here. I've never checked, but I'm pretty sure this has no licensing info on it. It doesn't, actually. That's pretty interesting. This t this item doesn't have any licensing on it. Um, so, these this is a 2001 item because... I say that because everything on it has the date of 2001. But if I look around, we'll try and... So, this is the back of the shed. You can see that the inside of the shed is completely blank. It's just wood. I really like these, um, these, like, things to keep it from breaking if someone hits on the top or something. There is one thing that I do not like about this. If, for example, you got an engine, let's get Edward here. So, if you got an engine, um, then... If you put them in here and then you roll them too far, they would just fall out, right? It's very easily, it's very easy to get them out of here. So I feel like if they put buffers right here on all of these, then it would have been perfect. See, mine's a little, mine's a little dusty, but <laughs> whatever, it's okay. Um, the top, the sheds, there's five bursts on these sheds. Let's get Edward out. Okay, there's five berths for five engines on these sheds, unlike the seven berths that the sheds have now. You can put all your favorite engines in here. It's not a very good storage thing. I don't approve of it being a storage thing. <laughs> so, on the sides, for some reason, I'm gonna be ranting about this. Why are they shut? It's some, like, facade. It doesn't even look right. Why? Just why is this like a closed, weird barn door shutters? It's so strange. The last ones had windows, and it looks so nice. I mean, I don't know why they did that. It doesn't bother me much. Okay, no mind. It does bother me a lot, because it looks ugly. But other than that, the sheds look fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah. You had to buy this separately, but I also just had an idea. If you wanted to, like, if you still really liked this track on there, it's really hard for me to put the track in there sometimes. So, you could, I would not recommend doing it this way, don't do this. I would flip it around, do it this way, put a little, um, mail mail right there and then do two tracks out and then you can put some more sheds there and you'd have like a triple shed setup 
I don't have too many other sheds though. Like I don't have any duplicate sheds, so it wouldn't look nice. So yeah, I don't really think that would work out well. So let's go over the included engines now. And now that we have this turntable, we can kind of review the engines. So the first engine is most obviously Thomas the Tank Engine. We've got Thomas here. It's your stock standard Thomas. Nothing special about this Thomas. Marked 2003. You know, it's just normal Thomas. So, the next engine that was included was James the Red Engine. So, James the Red Engine, um, you know, I get it. He's kind of a main character, so he's included. And... This is actually my only James, so I'm just assuming that this is actually James, where I got my James. <clears throat> I have a bunch of battery-powered ones, but let's just have James puff off. Okay, he just derailed there. And now, the most strange choice ever. You ready? Duncan. Why Duncan? Okay, I think you guys know why it's obvious why I don't like Duncan being included with the roundhouse. Hi. Um, he's narrow gauge, first of all. He doesn't even fit on their track in real life. It's just a weird inclusion because he's not... You, put a, you could have done Thomas James and Percy. Those are like the perfect three engines to do. But no, you choose Thomas James and... Duncan? Why Duncan? I think I know why. Duncan is a very common wooden railway engine, and you see him a lot. You most definitely have a Duncan if you have Thomas Wooden Railway. If you don't, then that's okay, but... I'm sorry, I was playing with my Taken Widget. <laughs> so, basically... I accidentally pressed on the button. So, literally anybody else, like, even Mike... Okay, no, that wouldn't make much sense either. Much, much sense either. They have to all be different colors, or it'd just be weird. <laughs> um, they could have put Frank in the set, and I would have been happy because Frank is a very odd inclusion. They could have put it in there, and it'd be like a deluxe, like a special bonus character. But no, Duncan is a very common wooden railway character, and you see him everywhere. He came in DVDs, tons of sets like this one. And he was sold alone. And he came with, um, the zoo... No, he came with the... He came with the... Uh, I can't remember what he came with, but... He did come with some sort of freight car attack. So he came in a lot of things. So it's not like he wasn't common. He's a very common engine. So I don't understand why they included him in here. And, like, a rare engine, maybe, like, Henrietta in here would have been great. Because it's special and makes you get a more of a reason to buy it. So I think Duncan is just an odd inclusion. And I really don't think they should have put him in this set. I have three wooden railway Duncans. I think next to Thomas, Percy, and all those guys, the main characters. I think I have the most Duncans out of, like, ma not main characters. Because Duncan's not really main character now, but... He's not one of the main characters in Narrow Gage. So, I think that's just really strange. But, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why Learning Curve chose to do this. So, other than that, I really love the roundhouse. Let's just show some more details. Um, I'll show some more things. For more... I'll sh just show it for more views. Um... So you guys know exactly, like, what this looks like, I guess. Um, so here's the bottom of the roundhouse. It's blank. There's nothing. There's no writing on it. It's smooth. You've got four screws that hold this whole playset together. So I think maybe if you wanted to take it apart, I don't know why. Take the roof off, then you can do that. It takes the roof off and, I think, the side walls. So, yeah. Um, you also, I think, here's the top. Uh, mine's pretty scratch. Also, you've got all of these things over all the berths. I think it's a very nice inclusion 
and it looks really nice. I think that one of the best Tin Sheds would be the first one, or the best roundhouse was the first one. Also, I think the next best roundhouse, probably the 2001 one, the prototype at least, I think. I think. I could be wrong, just look it up on the Thomas Wiki, I don't know. Thomas Wood Wiki. So, yeah. The Thomas Wood Tidmouth Sheds is actually really good. It, it It's perfect. Just the fact that it's Thomas Wood, I guess. I don't know. Cause he doesn't, makes you don't like it the, a little more. What is going on? Okay, there's an explosion over there, so I don't... But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and maybe you're considering picking up one of these things. I would definitely recommend the oldest version, the 1990... I don't know. But, you know, you could also get the Thomas Wood one. But if you own a lot of normal wooden railway, you'd have to buy a lot of adapters, because it's got... A lot more ways to go so you're gonna need a lot of adapters if you want to buy that one you'd have to put on a lot of adapters but I think it's really awesome set I love the roundhouse it's one of my favorite pieces every time I make a layout I always start with the roundhouse so thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all later also it's not that heavy but it is pretty heavy and very sturdy. These doors are plastic. Everything else is wood. They're a little bit movable and sometimes they close when you want them to. Sometimes they open. Like sometimes they don't stay. <laughs> um, but these are all female too. Also, you could literally make tracks go out all different ways and it'd be really epic. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the roundhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all later. Bye.